Hey everybody, how you doing? How you feeling? And how you living? As you can see, I'm in a great mood today like I am every day. So as you can tell by the title today, I'm telling you my favorite shopping websites. Now, just because I'm telling you my favorite shopping websites, that don't mean y'all can't shop at the uh, thrift store. Because I shop at the thrift store and I find some bomb stuff on there. And people be like, where do you get that from? That look real expensive. Oh no, baby, it was $2 from the thrift store. Take it from me now. I shop on a budget. But... My first store I like to shop is Urban Outfitters. It's kind of expensive, but you know, you hit that website and then hit what you're looking for. And then hit that low to high price. Oh yeah, start from the low. How I be doing when it get to like $10, $15? Oh, I stop. Uh-uh. That's -uh. what so else. I'm not paying $40 for no shirt. I refuse. The devil is a liar. So Urban Outfitters. I've, I've shopped at Urban Outfitters for a long time. Um... But like some, every once in a while I splurge or something. If it's something like I really, really want and I've been wanting, I'll get it from Urban Outfitters. But Urban Outfitters, they have in-store as well. My next website I like to shop at is ASOS. Now, I haven't really always been like all down for ASOS. I recently just got into ASOS. And they got some really nice clothes. Like you can categorize what you want to look for. Like if you're going to like Coachella or something, you can search in the search box. Um, music festival clothing and they'll they'll like pull up a whole bunch of different clothes you can wear to like a music festival like Coachella so that's why I love it and their stuff isn't really expensive and they get 10% off if you're a college student but they try to trick you because I tried to buy a shirt or something and I tried to get 10% off and it was like this item cannot be 10% off only on select items but they didn't want to tell you that before you ordered it but that's why I went back to that checkout, cancel that order, delete and I'll buy something else that I can get 10% off. I know I probably sound cheap but you know I'm just a college student that shops on a budget. That's all. So ASOS. I love ASOS. I, I just ordered like a poncho, some pants and some shoes and the shoes were only... How much were the shoes? Like 20, 35? I think that was like 45. I think that was 45. I love them. So you will see. I'll show y'all whatever one I get them. I haven't received it yet. Hopefully I'll get it next week. So my next shopping website that I shop at is Forever 21. I really like Forever 21 because now they always have sales. They have sales all the time. I can't really find anything. I have a better chance finding stuff from Forever 21 online than in store because they're in store i literally never find nothing except for their jackets i have a jacket of theirs that i think i wore for the one of the last videos um different ways to wear blue jeans that tan jacket that suede jacket i got that from forever 21 for 20 dollars so but it was in store so you can find stuff in store but i feel like they have better stuff online my next place that i love shopping at is boohoo boo y'all listen boohoo has 60 percent off Every, I feel like every other day, 50% off or 60% off every other day, they always have a sale and I live for them because I feel like they do that for me because I know I'm not playing full price for anything. No. So, Boohoo, 60% off. I think they got 60% off right now. I'll look and tell y'all when I upload this video. Um, I might even overlay a video to, you know, prove that they got 60% off. 60 off. But they stuff, I think my stuff, when I ordered, I ordered like this two-piece from Boohoo, like his shorts with a matching shirt. I think it came in like a week, but they based in like the UK. So if you into the United States, it's gonna take about a week or whatever to get here. I don't remember, I ordered it last semester, so can't like don't quote me. I can't be too sure about that. So yes. Boohoo has great stuff. My next place that I shop at is Shocker. I'm pretty sure it's not a shocker because as y'all can tell, like I've been saying 50,000 times, I shop on the budget. Amazon. Amazon got some really nice stuff, y'all. I'm telling y'all. And then they always got reviews, so people got a picture of, like, what they ordered and how it came in. And then reviews be spot on. Some of the reviews, they be like, don't get these shoes. They, the fabric they came in is not exactly like the fabric that's on the website. And if there were, I think, how I shop, if the if there reviews, every review say the same thing, it ain't for me. But I be getting confused because some reviews be having, like, different opinions on it, so... I don't know. My next shopping website that I love, y'all, I love me some Zara. Oh, I love me some Zara. Zara has the most, like, Zara has stuff I like to classify as, like, wearing to a birthday dinner. Like, if you got, like, a bougie birthday dinner with your California friends, I say shop at Zara. I like Zara. Um, they stuff can be a little pricey. I, I can feel that. That's why I only shop there about once a year. I'm just playing, but they, yeah, they still can be a little pricey, but they still have some really nice stuff and some, like, really fashionable stuff. It's not, like, too pricey. You just gotta, you just gotta know how to shop. 
if you subscribe to my channel and you be feeling like shopping is expensive, shop with me. I will show you how to shop on a budget, because I do. People be thinking, oh, where did that outfit come? Like I said, oh, clearance, 50% off everything. You don't have to shop. You don't have to give $50 of, well, okay, pants. I splurge a little bit on my pants now because pants, I got to get, my pants got to last because I'm tall and there's not a lot of times that I find pants is like to my length or whatever, the, to my liking um, that fit the way I want to. So I got to really cherish my pants. But believe me, I got a lot of, tw I, not a lot, but I got a few $25 pants. I don't really spend a lot of money on pants because it's hard out here in these streets. The next one, H&M. I love H&M, but I can't really say that that's like a shopping website that I shop on a lot because more of the stuff I pretty much like go on the website to see if something is on there and then I go in the store and see if I can find it in the store. Because like I said, I be having to, like shirts and stuff I can order online, but when it comes to pants, I have to try them on because I'm 6'4", so not everything is going to look right like on the computer screen and then when I get it on, it be high water and it look like I got on gauchos. That's just not what I'm trying to do. So. H&M, that's a good shopping website, but like I said, I recommend doing it in-store if you're like a certain height like me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Comment whatever else you want to see, and I will do it for y'all because I like when y'all give me how y'all feel and how what videos y'all want to see from me. Listen to me. Coming from me, somebody that shops on the budget every time, no matter how much money I got, I'm going to be rich with a net worth of $500 million and I'm going to still be shopping on the budget. I'm still going to shop at Forever 21. If you like this video, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you thumbs down, it won't hurt my feelings. That's fine. You're not going to like everything I make. So, yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Bye. <laughs>